Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Rob. Special welcome to fifth grade over here. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. You wanted some extra Jesus this week, right? You coming back, back to Mass on Friday? Yes. Law School Mass. You guys will be here. Cool. Well, we're happy to have you. There's three important things that Christ does today. He preaches, he heals, and he goes away to a deserted place. By his preaching and his healing, Christ builds up the kingdom of God. And what's interesting about this is there's no special calling for us to join in this too, in the preaching and the healing. It's a universal call. There are the demands of the gospel. But it's a universal call that we have. So Christ calls us even today to enter into his preaching and healing ministry with him, to build up his kingdom. We share in his preaching very simply by living holy lives, by becoming saints, by dedicating everything we are entirely to him. And we share in his healing by visiting the sick and the homebound, by giving words of encouragement to those who need them, by loving our neighbor. This is how we join and share with him in his two ministries. But none of this, none of this sharing in these ministries does any real substantial good if it doesn't have the last bit with it, going away to a deserted place. This deserted place, this quiet, calm place, is where Christ daily was in contact with his, with his heavenly Father. Christ was in prayer all the time, always going back to the source, the source of grace and goodness and truth and beauty and life itself. This was his source of strength, his source of renewal, his source of mission. My brothers and sisters, Christ set aside time for prayer daily, regardless of what else he was doing. And if God himself needed this time for prayer, this quiet, reflective moment, how much more do we need it as mere humans?